Hello, Dr. Joe here of the drjoe.com and the 2020 from.com. So what have I got in my hand here? Well, I've got brown rice and I've also got lemon fruit. Is it possible that if we squeeze the juice from this lemon into water to make lemon juice and we consume it with this rice or any other carb for that matter, is it possible that we will get a better blood sugar response than if we add the rice on its own? That is the subject of today's video. Have we got any proof of that? Well, so the proof is in this very study that we're going to be looking at now. So we'll start off with the study design. It was a randomized crossover study where the study authors used equal portions of bread, 100 grams of the bread, and 250 mils of water, black tea, or lemon juice. So essentially, what we are interested in in this very study is to see how the blood sugar is going to behave with each of these pairings. So uh, pairing bread with water, pairing bread with black tea, pairing bread with lemon juice. Which of those pairings is going to give us a better blood sugar response? To do that, the study authors had to monitor the blood sugar over three hours. And of course, the study objective was to test the impact of black tea and lemon juice on the glycemic response to bread. So what were their results? Well, the pairing of the black tea and the bread had no effect on the glycemic response. On the other hand, when you pair the lemon juice uh, with the bread, that significantly lowered the mean blood sugar peak. Also, the pairing of the lemon juice and the bread delayed the peak uh, glucose response by more than 35 minutes. So it was 78 minutes for uh, the lemon juice uh, and for the black tea, it was just uh, 41 minutes. And you can appreciate this more in this graph here. So here, the water is color-coded blue, uh, the black tea is color-coded green, and the lemon juice is color-coded yellow. And uh, this is the bread. So what happened when you pair each of these with the bread? What's the blood sugar response going to be like? Well, as you can see here, the black tea and the water, you have this exponential quick rise of your blood sugar. And it peaks pretty early, around about 30 to 45 minutes here, peaks there, uh, before you begin to see a decline in the blood sugar. Whereas for the lemon juice, when you pair the lemon juice with the bread, what you have is a gentler rise of the blood sugar with a lower peak. So you've got this peak here for the black tea and the water. Uh, so you have a lower peak before you begin to see a decline in the blood sugar. Not just that, you also have a delay. So whereas uh, the, uh, the tea and the water peak very quickly here at 30 to 45 minutes, but for the lemon juice, the blood sugar peaks around about 60 to 70 minutes, uh, and then uh, you begin to see the decline. So uh, a slower rise and also a delayed peak as well, all of which are good for your health. And the conclusion being that lowering the pH of a meal can slow down the starch digestion through premature inhibition of salivary alpha amylase, thus slowing down the glucose release from the starch. And uh, this is a study, it was published in the European Journal of Nutrition with the title, Lemon Juice But Not Tea Reduces the Glycemic Response to Bread in Healthy Volunteers, a Randomized Crossover Trial. So the idea behind this video is for you to take advantage of what nature has in store for you in these two fruits. Here I've got lemon fruit and on my left I've got lime fruit. In these two fruits we've got what we call citric acid. And all you need to do is use the citric acid in these two fruits to influence your blood sugar response uh, when you consume any carbohydrate meal. And the easiest way to do that is for you to squeeze out the juice from uh, this lemon and make lemon juice or the juice from this lime and make lime juice and consume it with your carbohydrate meal. So uh, for instance, the rice, the potato, the corn, and the bulgur wheat, anytime you're eating any of those uh, foods, all you need to do is consume it with either lemon juice or lime juice 
and uh, that way uh, you'll be wrapping that carbohydrate meal in a sheath of the citric acid and the citric acid is going to inhibit the salivary amylase enzyme activity and by so doing that will slow down the breakdown of the starch in any of those carbohydrate foods and by so doing uh, you will be having a better blood sugar response it's a very simple trick that anybody can implement if you are pre-diabetic or diabetic you should be doing this i think it's mandatory you do this uh, you're going to see a better hemoglobin a1c the next time uh, you have your blood test so uh, these two fruits are available all over the world the lemons and the limes they're available all over the world and they're also affordable so there's really no reason why uh, you should not adopt this uh, very simple trick that uh, i'm uh, sharing with you it's a very simple trick and it's easily adoptable well the next thing i want to talk about is my book if you don't have a copy yet you should get yourself a copy this book is for people who got high blood pressure it's about using lifestyle uh, to manage your uh, high blood pressure if you don't have high blood pressure you should still get yourself a copy because uh, if you do the stuff I talk about in here, uh, you are going to prevent high blood pressure. So it's a very nice book. I wrote it. Uh, I can vouch for it. Links to get a copy will be right below this very video. So hopefully you got some value from this very video. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. Please like the video and also please share this video with your friends, with your family, with your colleagues. If you got any questions, any comments regarding the content of this video presentation, go ahead and uh, leave your comments or questions down below. I think that's about it. Until next time, well, this is Dr. Joe signing out.